the moving average. Remember, we want to see it start to move down. So we want to see it come down, come back up, come back up again. Okay, now we have a hand to the downside. So we would look to go short on the way down. Okay, that's the conservative trader. To the upside, we're going to look for um, something similar in that we're going to wait for the market to break above the hand here or the range, either or. Yes, you could do both, but remember, in any case, small positions is number one, and number two is remember your risk. Okay, we're going to we're going to talk more next week about risk, money management, expectancy and all of that. So, you're going to you can trade long above the hand, long above the range between here and here. Okay, those are options as well. Or you can wait until it what? Remember gets under way. Okay? And that's simply waiting for the moving averages to start going up again and then the market starting to form the hands, right? So you get a market pops up, comes back down, maybe has a little bit smaller day right there. Now we've got another hand. So you'd wait to go long above this level right here. Okay? So the first the first announcement is go, is done. You can see that on the daily bar that it has formed this radical move. Okay, the market's moving up like this. The moving average is moving up like this. And that's even on the, on the ultra short term. If we go a little bit further back, you can see the moving average is really more like that, with price really more like this. Okay, so you can see it, it is a radical difference there. Now, we, remember, we just have to wait to see what we get. Uh, here's the euro. A little bit different, but see now how the euro is starting to, f to move in basically the same direction. Okay, it's not a radical departure, is it? Not the same kind of momentum. Let's go down and we'll take a look at the yen. Whoops. Okay, remember uh, a couple days ago, well, maybe not. I know there were some problems with the video. Sean is working on this, but here's the uh, yen. Okay, there's price. There's the moving average. You can see there's a big difference. I know that's actually pretty sloppy. Let me uh, go here and just draw a line. Okay, there's price. There's a the moving average. Big difference there. Um, there was an opportunity to go long, but this is the thing about being... Oops, there's the wife. This is, this is the thing about being an aggressive trader. You run the risk of this. Okay, remember in the example at the Dallas event, the aggressive trader will get stopped out more. Now, remember I also talked about how the ideal stop is going to be down here, okay, on the other side of this range, possibly even down there. That's a big, big risk, okay, a couple hundred pips at the very least. Let's take a look at what that might be uh, from top to bottom. Yep, 126 pips. Well, if you're trading a one lot, uh, one mini lot, that's $126, okay. That's why I said, remember... And you, you've got to you've got to keep all this in mind. Small positions, okay? Small positions. Now this might continue up. Who knows? Uh, we've got to wait and see. We have a hand here, a hand here. Still in a downtrend, can still trip this one, can still trip that one for the conservative traders. Just have to keep an eye on it and make sure we're not jumping the gun. So I'll produce some more videos uh, again next week. We're just kind of getting back in the swing of things, making sure that the site's operating uh, in full capacity. Uh, more videos next week. I'll get the re weekly wrap out um, uh, tomorrow morning.